Welcome to episode three of our Cebu adventure. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Today we are checking out a blue water Sumilon Island resort and headed north to a mountain resort that we weren't even aware of. It is nestled in the lush trees and surrounded by nature at Osmeña Peak. And the best part is that we'll be sleeping in a very unique accommodation that's been on my bucket list for a very, very, very long time. What's happening guys? You're watching Mom Duty. Join us as we travel around the world. Oh, I feel, I feel. I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. Alright guys, so the journey begins. We're taking the ferry from Blue Water. Uh, it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. Our transportation to the mountain resort is already waiting for us. Yes, we can't wait. I think I'm more excited than you are. I just don't show it as much. Really? Oh. I don't go, oh my goodness, so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. I said that all day. I'm like been so excited. excited about <laughs> leaving and getting there. Bye, Gail. Thank you so yeah. much. That was awesome. Thank you. Bye bye. Now it's going to take us about an hour to an hour and a half to get there. So excited for the next day because I have no idea what we're doing, what activities we're doing. Nothing. I know nothing. All I know is Mama's super excited. And you, Daddy, the cameraman. E! So excited! Cebu definitely has that island vibe. Very similar to Indonesia, but I think South Cebu needs a little work on the road here because it is bumpy, there's potholes, and there's potholes. And I got motion sickness, so I'm getting there. <laughs> so bumpy. Oh my goodness. I know, it's very bumpy, but I don't get motion sickness. So. <laughs> but I do sometimes get nauseous, so I always bring ginger, which does, it's good when you feel nauseous, it calms it down cold packs, put down your neck, calms you down, and that's like some other thing. We've been going up this hill for the last 15 minutes, it's pretty high up. I like that we've already experienced the island beach life at Blue Water. Now we're going to be experiencing the mountain experience of Cebu. Dome 3. Dome 3? Yes. We have a dome. We have a patio with the little thing. We are here, baby. Woo -hoo. Yes, intact. That was a crazy, that was a crazy uh, road trip. Woo. My hair went from curls to like frizz and it wasn't from the weather this time. It was from that bumpy ride. How are you? Walking for Rocio Ocampo. The weather's way colder up here. You need a little sweater, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our last call for the food will be uh, 7.30 tonight for okay. the dinner. Okay. 8 because our kitchen is until 8 only. Then oh. our drinks is until 9. Um, 9, yes. Last call is 9 because our stop is until 10 p.m. Yeah. Understand, Bisaya? Yeah. You know, English only? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. English I will teach you how to be Bisaya. <laughs> Okay guys, I just had a quick peek at the resort and it's absolutely stunning. I'm blown away. Picture this, okay? Lush greenery, fresh mountain air, and the serene chirping sound of birds in the background. It's like a scene from a movie for real. These surroundings are breathtaking. I'm just in awe of this place and I even haven't seen the best part yet. Okay guys, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Or should I say the moment I've been waiting for. We're about to show you something that I can finally check off my bucket list. I 
you can see, this is for sure not your ordinary hotel room, my friends. When you enter the room, you'll notice the unique shape of the dome. It's like sleeping in a cozy little bubble. We have two queen-size beds, which are situated in the center of the room. The bed frames are super classy, and the beds are a bit elevated, which makes it feel like a little nest. Love these fluffy white linens, and there are plenty of plush pillows to snuggle up with, which is good because Nelvin likes to sleep with like four of them on his own. You've even got your own AC and fan. Now that is cool, but what's even cooler is that you have your own phone, which kind of feels like a hotel. And you've got these cool little sparkly lights on the headboard. Now check out the roof, it's got a natural skylight. Now over on the right hand side of the room, you'll find a small fridge, which is great to store some snacks and drinks for the fam. And you've also got an electric pot, some water bottles and some mugs for coffee, which is good because I will need that in the morning. On the left hand side of the room, there's a little bench, but behind this corner is a cute vanity area and closet with a safe. Whoa, great use of the room and nice touch 150 peak way. Okay, now moving on. This specific dome comes with its own bathroom, a pretty sleek toilet and a shower if I may say so myself. One of the best things about this room is the window's front view. Once you move these luxurious silky curtains out of the way, you can see out to the gorgeous green mountain. It's like sleeping in the middle of the forest. And finally, my favorite part, the balcony. Check out this stunning view. And guess what? You won't believe what's out here on the balcony with me, a jacuzzi. Yes, you heard that right, a jacuzzi. It's the perfect place to relax and unwind. Oh my gosh. It's Gerby with umbrellas. Thank you, Gerby. Wow. These are gonna come very handy. Dinner. So, so we, we can order it and uh, you can bring it here? Up there? Yeah, yeah. we'll go up yeah, there. Yeah, because yeah, 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 we'll do oh, that. Oh, we can eat there? Okay. Nice. Perfect. Peakway Cafe. Thank Hello you. again. <laughs> oh, and our food is already ready. This is vegetables, sprinkles. This is the pork thing. This is the sun. This is the singing gun. This is the rice. This is punches. So who cooked? Did you cook? No, uh, I'm a bartender. Oh, you're the bartender? You cooked. No, sir, I'm just a waiter. Oh. <laughs> so who cooked? <laughs> the kitchen. Kitchen? I feel like we're the only ones here. I think we are the only ones here tonight. Exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. We got exclusive access. <laughs> so, Raymond, you guys have vodka? Yes, sir. Do vodka. Yeah. What? They can't do vodka drinks. Oh, no, why? Libra bottle. You can only buy it for the oh, bottle. Two, only buy a 2, bottle. 2,000 pesos. He recommends do gin tonic. Gin and tonic? Because okay. it's the least least sweet. sweet. Okay, we'll do a gin tonic. Gin tonic? Yeah, yeah, Basically. that's good. Okay. Thank you. Raymond the bartender. <laughs> oh, rosemary, cucumber, and lemon with gin and tonic. Cheers, mom duty. Cheers, dad duty. Thank you for bringing me along. <laughs> Delicioso. Of course, I also ordered um, sweet and sour pork, which I haven't eaten for a while. I love Stranger Things. I'm too young to be watching that. Well, I mommy mom, doesn't. I, I watched the first season, watch but I haven't watched the second. You know, in the second season, Mama, there's Max. And she's just like, no, no, she's like, Aww, Chrissy, wake up. I don't like <laughs> We're the only ones here right now because the only dome that's lit is ours. I think we are the only ones here until tomorrow. And from the looks of it, they have what? Three domes that have bathrooms. And then they have one, two, three other domes that share kind of like a communal shower and a communal bathroom. And I believe that's it. Maybe, well, there's also this side, but I think this is just a full restaurant. And then on the back side where, the, where we checked in, they have a karaoke room, but I don't see any rooms there. Oh yeah, and there's a pool behind, so that looks pretty cool. Hopefully we can jump in there after our big excursion that we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. 
jacuzzi, what's jacuzzi? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 the, the jacuzzi. Hopefully we can use it tomorrow. Okay guys, I hope it stops raining a little bit. It kind of cooled down, I don't know if it's raining. I think it's sprinkling. But I hopefully it stops so we can watch a movie and have s'mores. Cause look at, they even have like the little projector and I don't know what kind of movies you can watch but I bet they're really good. I can't wait to have s'mores, I hope so. Cross your fingers. Awesome. Okay, the staff is amazing. We're literally the only ones here, but they're all helping us with whatever need we we want here. So they're going down and checking to see if they can get the projector out. Right now it's not raining at all, but they don't want to put the projector out if it's even misting. Hopefully it stopped raining completely so we can watch a movie. I still don't see stars, and usually they say you see a lot of stars, so that means there's a lot of clouds up above. Do you have any USB with movie? Do we have any movies for sale? It looks like they only have movies for adults, not kids. <laughs> I don't think they want to see this. It's called Death on the Nile. I, I'm scared to watch that. The other one was like another Babylon. scary movie. Babylon. Babylon sounds good. Babylon 20, it's a three hour, it's this drama comedy. Outrageous. It's supposed to be really good though. Oh, about the 1920s, Hollywood as an industry begins to transition from silent pictures to the world of sound films. What is this rated? Okay, so they just changed the movie because we realized that it was a rated R one. So we're putting on a PG and we're starting our s'mores. Look, it's not raining. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to watch Death of the Nile. Now we looked it up, it's only PG-13 and for 10 to 12 year olds and I'm 11 and Knox is 11. Um, maybe so just some gory violence, but we're okay. I hope so. Anyway. Okay, this feels good right now. There is no rain. It's not too cold. Not too warm. It's just right. <laughs> Sound like the goalie locks, but um. That means there's no clouds anymore. Yay! Thank you. See you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Thank you. <sighs> that wraps up our fun first day at 150 Peakway. Tomorrow, we'll be taking their trolley and exploring the surrounding area, including possibly seeing the best view in the Philippines. So turn on that notification bell to get notified for the next episode. And in the meantime, click here to see our first Cebu episode. But if you've already seen that, then click here to check out our last Cebu adventure.